Now with this, we wrap up the magical days of geography. In the past 47 episodes, we've had good days, really good days, terrible days. But no matter what, we lived each and every day by falling more in love with what this world has to offer. And of course, by realizing how beautiful our country is. And please do not be stressed if you made mistakes in this journey. You will not learn things if you're not making mistakes. I am not here to judge you. The only thing I value is sincerity. That's it. Because I know if you are sincere, if you're showing up daily, if you are even giving wrong answers, you are growing. So please don't be scared of your inability to give right answers. And I totally understand this. Many of you perhaps are speaking in front of so many people for the very first time. Many of you don't speak English. That's fine. You are opting for that language for this examination perspective. The way we've grown up would be terrible with English. So I'm not here to judge you on those things. The only thing I care for is your sincerity. That's it. So this story of geography is not the story of loamy soil or peaty soil. It is not the story of circum-Pacific belt or how Deccan plateaus were formed or how Shivadi used it. If you think about it, this story of geography is a story of rise and fall of economies and empires. And in every class, you know, right from my panel discussion in Inciard to HEC Paris, I made sure that you are not reading geography mechanically. My goal throughout this module was to experience geography. And in that journey to experience geography, we did some really crazy things. We imagined the world without soils. Not just that, we imagined India without Himalaya. We changed the latitude of Singapore during our discussions and cyclones. From analyzing how El Ninos can affect stock markets to how sponge cities, how can they impact societies. The days we spent analyzing, debating, learning, unlearning geography are a thousand times more exciting, more fulfilling than any master's degree if you were to pursue any in this discipline of geography. I know I think few of you have done that, so you can also talk about it. And I can say this now with absolutely 100% confidence that many of the non-misfitters who will read geography, they will just watch YouTube videos or read through things mechanically. Or not a single person can explain the aspects of geography the way you will. Why? Because we studied geography by experiencing it, living through it. We delved deeper into the foundational aspects of this subject. From water wars with China to real estate investments in Japan to the Eurocentric worldview of the subcontinent. Even via discussing those scales in the physical geography, we didn't just learn how geography can create empires. We also learned how we can leverage our own geography to indeed make an empire. Who are the upstream? Who is in the downstream? How can we play around with that? So Coriolis up until the last month was a mere concept for you. But today you may see things as simple as Bugyals to Coriolis to even the presence of Himalaya, how all of that affects our lives on a daily basis. We saw how people in certain states of India saved their lives thanks to mangroves even when the mighty Indian Ocean tsunami wrecked many parts of the Indian Ocean. Because some people, they paid heed to geography. From our festivals to cultures to economies to even our civilization, geography shaped all of that. And in the past 47 episodes, we also learned how geography also shaped us. Our thoughts, our views, our opinions. And perhaps how we look at India, ourselves, and also the stock markets. And hopefully in time to come, I will see some of you representing India and along with that, the beautiful geography that all of us have inherited. It's the inheritance that I'm absolutely proud of. Geography of India. It's remarkable. So thank you everyone who had the courage to show up daily for these episodes. It was an absolute honor for me, and I mean this, to decipher this country, our world, our planet with you. And throughout the journey, my goal has always been that you become better thinkers. And I'm truly honored to see that this is happening with each one of you now. Ten years later, when you're talking to your kids, your spouses, on your next Valentine's Day, my dream still remains the same. Telling them, thank God I stumbled upon Namazur's YouTube channel in year 2023. And then my world changed forever. That's my dream. That's my personal dream. And of course, each one of you are part of that dream. And that dream is also intricately linked to my dream of India. And I have been working day and night to achieve and live through a dream. Okay, so only thing I value from all of you is your sincerity. That's it. It's okay, make mistakes. And you are supposed to make mistakes. No one can be perfect. If you are optimizing to be just perfect all the time, you've lost the game. It's a long drawn journey. So make mistakes, don't be perfect and learn. That's it. No one, not a single person here is here to judge you. That's the work of Supreme Court judges, not us. We are going to be part of the executive, not judiciary. So any thoughts, any opinions on the journey of the past 47 episodes? A journey from super past to Earth's internal structures to Earth's atmosphere to volcanoes to earthquakes? Let me know. Would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, Kalpna, after you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. So uh, geography, the 47 episodes, they were all very good for me. And also they topped up with the environment sessions which uh, Sadakshi ma'am was taking. And uh, also, uh, some topics were interconnected with your classes also. So, uh, it was like 
a kind of uh, means a uh, spreading some knowledge from here to the satakshi ma'am's class and from satakshi ma'am class to this class and also uh, regarding the reactionary video of that atmospheric pressures and uh, uh, convection uh, like the belts pressure belts that we studied it was the awesome episode for me uh, and i thoroughly enjoyed all those episodes oh thank you so much do tell me your favorite episodes so that i can also revisit those episodes which one for those favorite episodes and why and you said that some classes had the connections the goal was to have all the classes have some connections to something but god thank you so much komal off to you so the all episodes of geography is very amazing for me i read geography some part of it but not that way that you are teaching and my favorite lecture about the circum pacific zone we study the whole pacific ring so that is amazing we study how land form is formed formed and then uh, the exogenous forces work upon this so all is very amazing to study okay good i think my favorite was um, i think when we were discussing you know the ri- those rivers and how we can play around with those rivers to make a mess of pakistan but then this game theory of china okay good nitesh your thoughts now studying geography with you was like a living idea idea of seeing a world a beautiful world or of course india so knowing about the things like uh, what you will do in the situation when you have been into the karewas been digging up get some land for our nationals to be situated uh, helping what playing with external forces that could be or playing with china pakistan getting new lands so and uh, like rivers of course drawing rivers from tibet and let you the land where uh, what we call the waterfall or water source of the world or table uh, water tank of the world i can say and uh, living all, all was an absolute fantastic that everything what we are learning is like connection with our ground root means we can think from the very ground purpose that yeah something has source the origin what matters a lot and from there things come up whether it's problem or it's solution that your uh, way of dealing things with practical implications are more like a magic in itself so hope to see in quality <laughs> and many more subjects of course connecting with economy geography and society of course but yeah let's see in quality okay good thanks komal what do you yes sir i enjoyed all of the lectures and uh, obviously it helped me to widen my horizon about the subject geography but other than that i think it made me as a person more humble because um until now i have always thought about like humanities uh, i mean we are super intelligent creatures we have made this medicine in in terms of medicine like antibiotics and everything but now i think about a uh, more from the perspective of geography like million of things are working in tandem just to um, to make this uh, environment conducive for um, human race or other organisms i totally ignored that from like uh, air circulations uh, worker cycle a little bit disturbance in that like el nino and everything it can just um, uh, sh- shake our stock markets or um, uh, agriculture and um ocean currents i've never thought about them that uh, about the gulf stream about the redistribution of heat and yeah so basically my point is like thousands of things are working in tandem to just uh, for the with sake of humanity so it made me more humble i guess and uh, my favorite lecture um i think it would be injustice if i just pick and choose one lecture but uh, still i will uh, go with the concept that you introduced with the singapore because i've always been intrigued by the um, journey of singapore from being a um, poor nation to now being a super like top uh, like asian it biggest asian economy sort of thing because when we see even the passport singapore has uh, like out of all the asia singapore's passport is strongest it it always stands out in the top 10 so uh i've always been so crazy like how singapore was managed to do that but i never thought about cyclones and uh, how it 
escapes all of that. So yeah, because yeah, that's it for me. It gave me geographical perspective to its success. Okay, good. Thank you, Kamal. And uh, I think see for the passport, the thing is simple. You have to handle your migration well, and that's 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 what is needed for to improve the ranking of your passports. Today, Ukraine has better passport than India, but that does not mean that India is any way weak. Okay, so passport is one tiny aspect, and of course, Singapore's passport is pretty strong. I agree. But for it to become an economic powerhouse, there's a different story. Also, please tell me about your background because uh, I rarely get to meet you all. I mean, where are you from, and uh, whatever you want us to know, and then tell me about your experiences. Shweta. Hello, sir. Sir, I was. I to be honest, I was not uh, uh, attending live classes from a long time. I just started recently on twenty fifteen. and i thought ki mujhe kuch samajh mein nahi aayega main beech mein se aa rahi hu and uh, i you that was the episode on uh, ocean currents as like ki tum kuch samajh mein aa raha hai and i was like aisa kaise ho sakta hai before this i was in a traditional coaching institutions and i missed one of the lectures and and after that every lecture was above me mere upar se ja raha tha mujhe kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha tha and i was like ye bhi waisa hi hoga but i was wrong and i am glad that i uh, attended this lectures and uh, i uh, before that i was not also in economy but i completed economy and i was over the moon because this is the economy just apne padhaya was amazing i mean as economy kabhi nahi padha tha i know i know how to speak in english but i'm getting very anxious <laughs> i feel like my heart my heart coming my heart would come out sorry all right i think that's that's the honest honest feedback that happens when you are way too honest so thank you so much shweta for your kind words share it thank you sir for thank you sir for your guidance because i was thinking to skip this attempt but after i completed economy i got my confidence back because ek subject with one subject i can solve this many questions so i can do i can do it and i hope that would be the case with polity geography i just i i love i i am very excited for your take on polity because i like polity Okay, good. Deshwant, after you. Yes. So yeah, currently I guess geography is my favorite subject, which was the aim itself, right? And uh, the beauty of for me geography is this that how relevant it is now also and it was before also. And uh, I reside in Delhi. It has been shamed right like a lot. But I think if you want to have a proof of climate change, it is here, and we see all the seasons. And uh, I think last year I saw this lovely movie, Tamilian movie, which changed my perspective about gardening. And now, if I go back on a walk, I see if a tree is shedding its leaf, disappears or something like that. Or like if you're looking up, there are clouds, and we know some of its names and all of that. So I love how like a certain perspective, like I've gained a certain lens, and I think that would like go on until my life. So yeah, it's gonna make you it make me remember. Oh, in any specific episode that you loved it? So for me, I loved the when there was a transition from Indian geography to like your like like the global geography. So I loved that thing that when we were discussing about Western disappearances in the news, it was happening. Or like if we are talking about El, you know, it was happening. So I think those were like magical moments for me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks. Because we didn't follow the traditional method of doing the subject in silos, we. Took a break. We took hiatuses, and we got back to the things, so that you have more practical lived experiences. Vanishree, go on. Uh, yes, sir. The most uh, beautiful uh, thing about the uh, geography classes is the way you intermingle this uh, world geography with Indian geography. First, uh, I would uh, first uh, uh, in the beginning I used to study the part one geography and part two geography in silos. But after uh, when you Uh, started physical geography and then you started indian geography and then, then you intermingled the way you uh, did it uh, was very beautiful and the most uh, favorite part of this geography classes we studied about bugyals karevas and western disturbances uh, first uh, before uh, learning geography this way i used to think for all the climatic changes and pollution everything is man made and uh, uh, pollution is the main uh, thing for uh, every oh sorry sir i am unable to uh, make 
that's totally fine where are you from sir i am from karnataka 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 is such fascinating geography yes which part of karnataka uh, sir ba- mandya region sir south part oh very nice karnataka is one state that i have to explore yes in length it could any Please. favorite episode yes sir, the episode about bugyals karevas and western disturbances i used to think before uh, maybe the pollution is the main reason for all these uh, uh, during winter months only northern india is getting rain uh, i used to think in that way when i get to know about the western disturbances the cyclones the jet streams and i was very fascinated uh, to learn through this methods thank you sir oh thank you so much manishri all the very best myra go on off to you So I remember in the initial classes you said that for people who are introduced to the subject it will be different but then who have already studied the subject it will also be different for them so I totally agree with that because earlier I, when I used to study concepts like western disturbances monsoon and all uh, I used to get confused because there was no uh, conceptual clarity but now the things are so clear yesterday my brother was studying he had an exam for the same thing so monsoon western disturbances so i was trying to teach him some things and he was like i know bits and pieces but the, you were you will start from one point and you will just uh, tell me things more and more and that will just confuse me so i just wished that he had watched your like the episodes we are uh, like we are having so then he would have so much clarity uh, with in terms of the favorite episode i would say the curious force like how it is the answer to all the problems and also the solution to all the problems so yeah i would say curious force oh great and where are you from myra i'm from delhi ncr delhi and are you still in delhi no i am in ncr actually it's in i'm in gazabad oh nice i think it's better than delhi but good no it's same yeah. like there's no difference it's the same I've just lost twelve years of my life, so. Okay, no worries. Uh, and thanks for your kind feedback, Aman Preet. Go on. Uh, sir, I what I loved is that you are connecting different perspective, be it the stock markets or uh, be it aspects of economy or policy. So everything gets connected. So that's the best part that I love about. Uh, this geography and i have been consistent uh, during the geography phase i was not consistent much with history and uh, economy but this this also played a role that i was consistent with all the classes so i could connect even better though i have uh, studied geography earlier but that was all uh, like disconnected thing koi idhar hai kuch udhar hai and everything was uh, road learning kind of stuff the best episode that i liked uh, was the coriolis force and also my personal favorite was the cyclones ka part where you cold called me and uh, so like i then started giving up more answers so that day also i realized that though i have all the answers though i have like all the preparation and everything but your cold calling acted like a coriolis force uh, for me to like to let the cyclone erupt so that was the biggest realization for me that day and from that day like i have been consistent with raising my hands as well so that i make sure in each and every class i at least try to give an answer at least speak in the front of the class so yeah so that's that's all uh, that i wanted to share yeah yeah good thanks and where are you from amanpreet sir i am from gujarat in godra oh nice i think there's a movie that's getting released godra in a few days few months i don't know but good i think one very interesting thing that amanpreet mentioned is that uh, these good habits they have this exponential return talking in public for the first time would be extremely hard you know giving your first answer would be extremely hard but give it a try speak and from there on things will you know there will be domino effect in a good way to all of you okay so that's why i keep on cold calling so that you know you are diligent in your learning processes at the end of the day investing time is the most important asset that i should value money is nonsense money you can always earn back but time no so that's why please participate in classes be active actively engaged even if you're watching recordings see how active you could be try to stop the recording watch it give your responses and of course you know you can write and interact with uh, our info team whenever you desire that's the option always available 
Anushka, off to you. Um, okay, Chanakya is known as the kingmaker. For me, I think you are the kingmaker for, for all of us. I just want to be able to contribute, much like many of the people in the class, to contribute to your dream of having people of good stature, of good integrity in the governing positions, firstly. Um, secondly, uh, for me, this class was kind of meant to be because the day, the day, that is like uh, six months before in October, almost six months before in uh, mid-September, October times. The day I decided to do UPSC, I saw your video. That same day, I applied for your classes because that was the last day also uh, which uh, on which the 100 students were being selected. So for me, it was like meant to be. I could not uh, think about anything else and it turned out really good for me. I've been trying a lot to get on with the portion, the syllabus, not gaining the confidence, but I'm going to learn from Shweta. You know, I'm going to get through the recordings, gain that confidence. And last point, the swelling clay in black soil is bentonite. Sorry? The swelling clay uh, in the yeah. black soil is bentonite. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> You're you. so humble in bragging that you are king already. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, thanks for your kind words. And I wish you all the very best. Swarnindu, go on, off to you. Hello, sir. Sir, you keep on saying that uh, the right teacher makes the right difference. And I totally agree with you. Uh, I studied geography as most of us had done perhaps in our school days, ratifying it and vomiting it on the day of the exams. I did that. I had it till class 10. And after that, I never studied it. So it was like a blank canvas getting filled at Misfits. And uh, I have lived through a number of uh, disasters like uh, you, you were talking about the Amphan, right? A few days back. So I've lived through that. I saw those outdoor units of the AC is being uprooted from uh, nearby buildings when uh, it was happening. So now I have an explanation to what, why it happened. And uh, moreover, uh, when you were talking about the clouds, uh, I was fascinated to know that they have names and they have other purposes as well. Because I love clicking pictures and uh, it was amazing for me to know that. And my favorite episodes uh, would be the starting of the uh, atmospheric circulations. It was, I absolutely loved them. From uh, the Coriolis to everything, El Nino, La Nina, everything. I myself uh, did a lot of, uh, put a lot of effort from my own end to understand that. Uh, I did some readings when I would go back and... Uh, and yes, the thing about public speaking, uh, you know that I speak very, very, very less. And uh, this has substantially, I think, I believe it has improved to an extent. I'm not uh, quite afraid or uh, quite intimidated by the number of people who join. I'm more uh, able to express myself freely. So thank you very much, sir. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Swanindu. And where are you from? Sir, Kolkata. Kolkata. Good food. Cheap food. That's good. And no one is mentioning about the initial classes. Those were also magical. When we discussed Japan and other interesting phenomena. I think I've forgotten what all we discussed, but it was a good experience for me also to design those classes. Twinkle, go on. How many classes did you miss in geography? Also, in geography, I missed three overall in the year. I think I missed six or seven. And I didn't so even Geography is not your favorite? No, no, I told you so. I had to go to this two weddings in one week. It was, it wasn't like geography wasn't my favorite, but it humbled me because uh, I required to put in so much effort. Like even when I started revising it again, I realized that, okay, this is going to need a lot of work and I'm I'm okay with it. But I think it humbled me at the right moment. <laughs> I'm glad for it. And my favorite episode was the mangroves episode. And uh, when we started discussing about the gangetic dolphins, uh, because it's my favorite animal. So uh, that Gangetic Dolphin uh, episode was my favorite. And I have like newfound appreciation for 
everything around me plus the car by saki thing actually i was very planned out that day what happens is that there's this slanting rain i once left the balcony windows open and like my whole hall was like water log because there was like such slanting rain and i've seen uh, you know some people they're like roofs getting uprooted you know with those corrugated metal sheets they fly off so that is why uh, it's like a little bit um dangerous other, other than that no like it, it's fine it just it's not as destructive but yeah, that, that's the thing so and i sometimes i did feel like not coming because i was feeling very overwhelmed uh, but then i thought i should come otherwise uh, you know i'll make it a habit of not coming and i didn't want to break my streak which was broken but i didn't want to break it further and i knew that even if i would make mistakes uh, like you know you would not judge me or punish me so that is why i thought at least i should come even if i didn't get everything from the previous class i knew that i have to come so thank you for that so i um, and it's been a year of misfits i know our first orientation session was on 1st february and uh, it it feels crazy that Oh, your has flown by already. Yeah, I think you also sent in a, a very good note around the one year completion. So I don't know if uh, my team has forwarded my response, but uh, thank you so much for such a beautiful note. Thank you. So I I uh, I don't think I've received a response yet, but yes, I I didn't think uh, anybody realized it. But I'm responding. So thank you I'm so just... much for such such kind note. Also, thank you. So come because I know that you know I I won't be punished. It's a very big thing being from a convent. They really do they hit children also. We were also hit like if I can't even think about it. They used to hit us with wooden scales and make us count also. It was so horrible. So like that punishment thing is still very ingrained. I don't punish anyone. Have I punished anyone? You haven't. That is why I can come every day. But the fear virtually I cannot punish. I could design a new technique for that. But uh, but. Roshika, you're from Andhra Pradesh, Roshika? I'm from Telangana, Shuk, Telangana. Hyderabad. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, so for me, actually, geography, I was uh, very much scared before, even before I read it. Like, I used to always have this insecurity in my mind that I'm good with concepts. But when the, it comes to applying those concepts, I think I lack that because of my physics thing and geography is more scientific and all stuff. I used to always have that notion. And the, these classes just uh, gave me that confidence. Okay, it's not about uh, me not able to apply or something uh, uh, like that, but it's actually the way we teach and the way uh, we, you know, imbibe those concepts. I think that made a really big difference for me uh, in terms of looking other subjects like environment or science and tech as well. Um, and yeah, and now it's like... Um, uh, I think if you just see on my face, like every episode, I used to be like so much excited to uh, know and learn it, uh, learn more about things. So it's uh, the classes were really uh, awesome. And one thing which uh, which was my favorite was uh, in spite of all the human, uh, like all the nature doing its work and all that stuff, we also ha have uh, seen many of the uh, what do you say, measures which we can see, like for urban flooding, we have seen those bridges uh, built in Italy or uh, some place in Europe. And uh, and reading about more such thing has become uh, like a habit for me. Like, okay, what all benchmarks do we have for this, for this, for landslides or for urban flooding? So it's it's become more fascinating. And like, I think the engineer in me has uh, triggered after that point. So geography was... Uh, and of course, as you also told that uh, even the rivers uh, and, you know, play, playing with the upper and the lower Liberian uh, countries was also my favorite episode because IR, it just all connects everything. So, yeah, thank you so much, sir. Well, thank you so much, Roshika, for your kind words. And Hyderabad also has good food. I think uh, the older parts of the city. So, yeah, thank you so much. So um looks like I was successful with only one candidate who has geography as his favorite subject. Not sure about the others. Sai, off to you. I thoroughly enjoyed the geography lectures. Actually, uh, earlier I studied uh, rivers uh, one time, but it took me one month to understand the rivers. And I thought uh, like this, uh, why rivers is flowing in this direction only like that. But it took me one month to understand that. 
and uh, i thoroughly enjoyed your lectures i can say in only one statement you have shown me one like a uh, creature in a uh, atmosphere mesosphere uh, that creature you are there i wish i would be like him so i can fly to oceans uh, deep floor then i can go to the earth i i have experienced the geography i can say i have not studied i am experienced it and uh, lively i have experienced when you shown the i wall and i i i felt i was at that uh, I of the cyclone. So one day, one once I was experiencing cyclone in, uh, in disaster. So then after that, I experienced like this. Very very, I can't express my words for your lectures. So much I uh, overwhelmed. Oh, thank you so much. Where are you from? I am from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, Vizag. Vizag. Oh, yeah. Nice. Been to Vizag. We have this naval command, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Bhavna, up to you. Hi, sir. This is the first time that I was talking in the class because I'm so afraid. I'm so I feel so anxious when I speak in front of many people. So uh, today I mean, well. why why were you so anxious? I don't know, sir. Still, now I'm feeling anxious, but I'm I'm making myself to be calm. So and I really love this geography journey. Uh, and uh, when first class it was uh, regarding the asthenosphere and all this uh, the the inner parts of the geography i literally don't know what is asthenosphere what is lithosphere we all live it and we all experience i mean we all live in the same region but we don't even uh, try to look around our surroundings what's happening and what are all those things and uh, and i love the way you take the definition and at the same time you will stumble upon it and you'll question and you'll like it uh, you will do scientific research on that and i love the way and uh, i still remember the process where you said what is geographical process and it's still a process growth and development i still remember the definition the, the way you taught me and uh, i'm so so thankful and i i really thought why this person didn't come one year before i gave an attempt in 2023 it was a disaster and i think that why where is naman sir and why he didn't come one year before so that i could join the coaching earlier so the way you teach it's i can't express my words regarding that and and at the same time satakshi ma'am so she is also i mean i do, i feel like why don't we get men like this mentors before and uh, the and the, my favorite episode is regarding coriolis force and uh, i really like love that episode and the, your rea and your reactions to particular video and that's it so oh, thank you so much and where are you from Andhra Pradesh, sir. Okay, good. Which part of Andhra Pradesh? Rayal Sima Pad, Kada Pad is too. Small correction. I don't want this to appear as coaching. That's not the goal. That's not the aim. That's not the aim. This has to be an experience, and that is how we want to design it. So, not that coaching nonsense. So, no coaching. Okay. So, I wanted to correct that lingo. But thank you so much, and you speak very well. And and now you know you are going to be called called a lot in polity, so please care for it. Pritham, seeing you for the very first time, where were you? I sir, uh, I was in the class and missing some of the classes these days because of some commitments. I first spoke to you uh, during the orientation session, sir. It was you was uploading the YouTube also. So actually, I gave the twenty three attempt. Uh, it couldn't work well. When I first read geography, sir, uh, about plate tectonics, uh, about the Pangaea continent and everything, I felt surprised. But I didn't actually understand, to be honest. And about the climatology also, I didn't understand. So I was like, okay, fine, rule learning is required. I just marked it up. After that, when I saw your lectures, it is like completely mind blowing, to be honest. I mean, is it really how it works in the northern hemisphere? Wings towards the right and the left and the southern. It's like. There's a lot to be learned, and one more tricky question is, sir, what will you do if you are an IAS officer of the district? That's really intriguing. All the time you have to think all the time, and I'm really glad to meet you, sir. To be honest, yeah. And one of my favorite lecture would be on climatology and Coriolis force, sir, because that is really fascinating experience for me. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Pritham. And yes, pleasure is all mine. Where are you from? Which city? I'm from Hyderabad. Hyderabad, a lot from yeah. so many from Hyderabad. Spent a lot of time in Hyderabad. 
just to talk very briefly there. Okay. Great. Uh, Avani, go on. Um, hello, sir. Um, I have previously tried studying geography on my own and I found that the uh, I felt like the concepts were really complex and I was not able to understand certain things because I was not correlating them like we did in these classes. So I'm really I'm immensely grateful for uh, for you uh, for simplifying all these concepts for us along with these videos and uh, the reaction videos that we did that they were phenomenal and um, I I used to keep my cameras off for a very long time. I'm a part of the live community, but I didn't uh, keep my cameras on and because I used to avoid cold getting cold called. But I recently gained courage to keep my camera on and um, and I really regret not keeping it on because the attention le levels are really high when we keep the cameras on. Also, um, I realized that um, I freeze today while solving the answer. Even though I knew the answer, I, I but I, I don't know how I just freeze. And um, so I realized it is important to speak more and it's the only way to improve. So like you keep saying, so... Uh, yeah, I'll try to improve more in the coming classes. Uh, my favorite episode was the um, the Ring of Fire that we did, the earthquake one. So I think that was great. I uh, that was great. I think it was the um, eighth or ninth episode. So yeah, that was my favorite one. Wow, that's amazing. And um, which is your favorite subject these days? Is it geography? Has it replaced? These days, it is definitely geography, sir. Okay, good to know. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Maharashtra, Nagpur. Nagpur? Very nice. Yes. Radhika? So I would start with my favorite episode. It was the very first one where we discussed USA's geography. So up until then, we always used to take so much pride in India's geography and how we have the best relief features, different features, coast, peninsula, all these rivers. But we never realized to think that all other places on the planet too must have something in their geography to have existed or like make such big empires or have such great economy so from then in every class when we discuss i somewhere correlated with some or the other part of the world only like few days back i was thinking of japan like how come it has such good culture or economy despite having such terrible place on the earth like the, with respect to disasters and in having ocean on all sides, having strong nations on all other sides. And I was thinking if even islands could have rivers. But then when I googled it, I could find so many rivers on so many islands. And then we could correlate it to the part that islands could have formed by volcanoes, which could then be the mountains for the rivers to be there. So it was a very good experience. Oh, well, good. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Delhi. Delhi? Good. Yeah. Nice. Ashwini. Um, so the uh, the thing I love with your teaching is the way you introduce the concepts. Like I watch a lot of movies, of course, Telugu movies. Um, before introducing the main lead, they introduce all the context of him. And after that, after after that, the lead comes and will have results and all. Similarly, uh, while discussing monsoons. You explained uh, Indian Ocean Dipole Movement, this trade winds, Coriolis, El Nino, Western disturbances, and all that. Now the main hero comes, monsoons, like like his whistles, like like how we in the theater suite. I mean, it helps in internalizing the concepts. Maybe uh, maybe I I I tend to forget the facts, but the concept, the core concept, will remain with me. So I love how you introduce the concepts. Eh? And the second thing is, I love the interconnections you make. Like um, while discussing, uh, before discussing cyclones, you you talked about Bangladesh Liberation War and how this uh, cyclone played a major role in the in that. Um, and the thing about, uh, and also you talked about Singapore's uh, that location, particular location, which it did not have any Coriolis effect. I love that. And sir. Um, Actually, uh, I love this community very much. Uh, I think uh, day before yesterday, I have given one dumb answer. You ask this question like, um, soils are uh, inseparable part of your lives. Elaborate on this. I am I am like, after we die, we go into soils. I said that's such nonsense things. But you said you didn't uh, you know, do anything 
Oh. And thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing me to say such dumb answers. And I love, I loved all the concepts. And also, I'm able to inter interconnect many things. Yesterday evening, I was watching the clouds, and I'm seeing the. I'm I'm thinking that yeah, these are uh, cumulus. And today morning, exact same place, I'm seeing. Oh, this changed. Uh, these are strat stratus now. Like I'm feeling the subject. Thank you, sir. Rob, well, thank you so much, Ashwini. And allow me to judge what is dumb and what is not. Allow me to be the chart look in Hindi. Anyway, thank you so much, Ashwini. Uh, um, and also, sir, uh, I thank the other people who translated me the Hindi part. I did that. So. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, and where are you from? Which city? Andhra Pradesh, from Rajasima region, Anantapur, from Anantapur district. Oh, nice. Great. Um, this is amazing. And I like the fact that you spoke about the community. So Misfits has to be a community. Without community, it's nothing. So not a coaching. It's a community. Community of Misfits. Ratuja, go on. Are you from Nagpur as well, Ratuja? No, sir. Pune. Pune, yes. Um, so I, like, I wanted to say so many things. I have written it down. So the first main thing is that I had my college exams in December. And it was the first time that I like I wrote such beautiful answers. The one thing which I wrote is uh, the Black Sea region. I lit like it's literally grained into my brain. I I drew the map that this is Black Sea, then there is Ukraine, Romania. Like I mentioned it all, and now the results also came, and I got a nine point three CGPA. So it it was very good. I like um I used all the economics concept in those answers as well. So this was the first thing. The second thing is that uh, the my, uh, my favorite uh, lecture. It was the first one. Like I have a love hate relationship with that like uh, with that episode. Uh, because it takes me so much time to revise. Uh, so like we start with physical geography. Then there is like how it will impact. So I start with Himalayas. The Himalayas are uh, elevating. Then this traps the monsoon. Then the uh, monsoon will have an impact because there will be more rain. There will be leaching. Then uh, this elevation will also like alter the course of the river. Then I connect it with environment class, the Cori Delta. Then so like now also I'm like, connecting so many points. But uh, the thing which like like it reminds me that not just studying but also revision doesn't happen in silos. So this is like it's very difficult for me to start revising geography because this is the very first uh, episode to revise. So this was the one. And third is that uh, I was scrolling through the reels on Instagram. Uh, and I came uh, across this video that she uh, she was mentioning that why there is this difference between the languages written in the northern and the southern part of India. So in the southern part, there is uh, like a curvature and uh, in the northern part, there are straight lines. So why is this the reason? So I thought about it and then uh, maybe there's a connection of geography in that uh, because of the initial during the initial development, there was birch plants used in the northern part and then there was palm leaves uh, in the southern part. So if we draw a line on a palm leaf, then it will tear apart. So this is how geography will also impact uh, language. And with your lectures, the creative side of my brain is now, now opening. And uh, the reason is that when we were discussing about the mid-oceanic ridges, like how the lava comes up and then oceanic crust is created and again deformed, initially I did not understand it. But later after watching the recordings, I connected it uh, through a very like dumb thing uh, that when we get hurt, there is this layer which comes in. And if we like before it is repaired, we, if we remove it, then again, the blood comes up. So in that sense, I connected it with the oceanic thing. So so like my uh, creative mind has been involved in this process. And uh, second is uh, the environment classes. I wanted to mention this. Um, the eighth lecture, uh, Shatakshi ma'am mentioned about these trees, uh, those were cut in the Madgao region, uh, the 70 to 80 years old trees. And like, for first I would like say like what, what would uh, happen? These are only just two to three trees which are cut. But now I'm like connecting it with it. Like why these trees are so important in that region. I know I'm speaking so much, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have this habit of going on. So sorry for that. But I wanted to thank you and Shatakshi ma'am for this entire experience. 
not only you have helped me in my upsc uh, journey but also for my college exams so i first time scored 9.3 cgpa which is a great thing for me thank you okay which college do you go to uh, so ferguson college in pune and which year is this uh, so last year last year so you will be appearing for your exams in this this year or next year for upsc so this year so i'm trying to give this year i don't know. okay i'm sure it will go on well Madhesh, I would have cold call you anyway. Where are you from? I am from Bellur, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Did you go to VIT? No, I go to I went to NIT Trichy. Good decision. Okay, go on. So, so on so obviously I know like you would call me. So on the day I had some issues. So, so though I don't want to justify it, so I'm sorry for that. and today also i had some internet internet trouble so i couldn't raise my hand before itself uh, so so i if, if i want to give it in one sentence i would be a little bit racist here my geographical knowledge was a bit more american before but now it's somewhat indian so yeah that's my okay. take on thank oh, you for great i mean i mean how can i mean it's a good thing is it a bad thing yeah I, so it's basically a sarcastic take that americans don't know much of geography outside them so yeah that's the same thing with because uh, one example i would give is we tamil nadu face monsoons in october and november before that monsoon class i still thought that india's monsoon was from october to november and only kerala was an anomaly receiving in june but after that monsoon class only i came to know that hindi tamil nadu was the anomaly there so yeah okay so the americans don't know about world geography yeah Like, so they do know a lot about their own geography, but uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, on the same line only. I'm telling that apart from Tamil Nadu, I didn't know that monsoon was different from all over India. So yeah, okay, so, good. And I yes, think. your favorite class. Yeah, obviously the one which I was caught telling you. Okay, and uh, okay, that's good to know. And when is your exam? Are you appearing this year or next year? Yes, sir. Okay. I hope you all are solving tests. That's important for those who are appearing this year. For those appearing next year, don't worry about tests at all. Harsha. Yeah. Hi, sir. Um. So uh, this is not only about this. This is not only about the geography classes, but all of the misfits classes. They are all phenomenal, and. Uh, you know the first thing i like about the misfits classes is that we question first before learning anything which helps us interconnect more things so um, that is really uh, what i like and the uh, the interconnectedness we have between the geography and environment that was like i, I was um, you know i was never interested in learning all the facts in environment or the geography but then this interconnectedness and uh, you know making the relationships made it very interesting and uh, like a lot of uh, my analytical skills have improved um like first i have been learning how to question things before learning how to interrelate the concepts so um i i've never been like this before um and uh, yeah that is one more thing and the my favorites in geography are the uh, first part uh, of the geography where we started the volcanoes and all the tecto plate tectonics because the way you have introduced to us those concepts and then the structure you have uh, went through through all of the classes were uh, really good and also i like the part of the coriolis effect the pressure gradient force all of that because i i i naturally like physics and then uh, yeah those were my favorite lectures and then the, there was this one lecture of uh, connecting it to politics of manipur violence and all like the structure of himalayas so that was also really good yeah okay thank you so much harsha for your kind words and which city are you from uh, i'm from andhra like near vijayawada we should do a meet up in andhra pradesh somewhere in yeah so andhra. many people are there yeah. okay good um ajay go on after you hello sir sir i am from lalitpur up and i have completed my schooling and graduation from gwalior and i have thought that uh, you have some relation with uh, rahul srivastava who teach physics in gwalior i thought but 
I give one photo of your parents, so I think that uh, you are not. <laughs> so, and so uh, I had covered geography many times as it is my fifth attempt, and my optional is also geography. But uh, uh, I get a different pers perspective and different uh, um, things to learn many different things in my optional as well. And I love all lectures of geography because it is my optional and it is cost benefit analysis. And uh, so one thing is that I love the way you say, uh, be calm, be composed, and that relaxed me, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Which school did you go to in Gwalior? Sir, Pragati Vidya Okay, nice. Good. Nikhil is back. Go on, Nikhil. Seeing you, raising your hand for a long time. Uh, what yes, happened? Sir. Nothing else, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, like, uh, I written it out that what I'm going to speak. So basically, there are four things that I want to speak, like what the basic things, uh, like, as after joining the community, that what's the basic attributes that help, and then about the geography, different segments, then my favorite class, and some things that I think uh, could be improved. So the basic thing is that, uh, like, mainly the reason of what I get mainly out of the community and is like you build up the interest, right? I mean, why the reason I saw you, I show your video. So I saw your video and seen that you are like, why this thing is happening? Why this is happening? So basically, this is pretty, uh, like, help to build up an interest. And if someone have an interest, if someone knows why the thing we are doing the things, I think everyone can read the what is there, right? So that is pretty uh, helpful. So this is a main thing that, because if you ha ha uh, reinforce what is why. So why component? Because what is then I think is a cakewalk. And uh, like and like whatever the questions that's solving, so whatever the visualization that you used to show, they are really helpful because if you just imagine that thing, then you can able to get the things near about it. So they are also helpful and also all the critical thinking that why if you are in this situation, what are you going to do? So you able to internalize the content. So these are the basic uh, like the structure of the uh, whole the community that is pretty helpful. Uh, so now I come on the geography, like I think uh, there are three sections uh, like geomorphology that covered in the starting, then physical geography and then climatology and in the end again the physical geography. So I think uh, the geo, uh, like I, it's my first time that I'm studying, so but I really enjoyed everything and I able to internalize uh, most of the things and like geomorphology and physical geography I really liked, uh, but uh, in climatology I find uh, like there are a lot of, uh, like I couldn't, uh, I find a lot of gaps in because I couldn't able to why this thing is happening. And in that way, like where I'm are you very, from Nikhil? Where I I'm from Haryana, sir. Let's try town in Delhi. Which which part of Haryana? Uh sir, uh, like my uh, like hometown is in uh Mandagad, near to Bhivani, but my like most of my studies in Faridabad because my father is posted in Faridabad. Okay, and currently in Delhi. Yes, sir. I thought you were from Uttarakhand. I think I don't know why I had that hunch. I studied from Uttarakhand, Mr. Rudki. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. And uh, I think you have a class, right, at 4 p.m. environment in six minutes. Okay, so I'll quickly, I think Somi is raising two hands. Himanshu is raising his hand for now. So I'll quickly check with you all and then we can wrap it up. Okay. And uh, to all those who I cannot interact with, please send me your emails. Look forward to reading those emails in detail. So, Himanshu, off to you. Yeah, hello, sir. I'm from Chansi, currently in Noida. So, yeah, someone to, uh, talked about uh, like the humbleness, like how geography makes you humble, so many things. That made me think of this, this episode in uh, Young Sheldon. So, he's like a child prodigy and he's all atheist and his mother is like devout Catholic. The, the scene is mother is doubting God. So, he like, he's reassuring her that Earth's distance from sun is like the perfect distance. Ten percent here or there, it's too hot or it's too cold. So, like, so many things are coming together. We get the ocean currents, so atmospheric circulations, like everything has to be perfect. That makes like life, life happen. So, the magnanimity of that thing, like, was put into perspective. I've not gone through all the lecture. I have some few of them left. I'll go through that. As for the for favorite episode, it will be uh, Japan, why property rates are low in Japan, and the Dead Sea one, like why the Dead Sea, why the name, like the why factor is more prominent in the episodes. 
it's go other like earlier also i had studied geography but uh, the confidence of not coming like it happens in polity or economy because we know the why so clearly in geography it was not happening so the why factor is like now <laughs> done well for and yes in that uh, question you asked about like land usage dev term a few days before like the creativity has sparked to that level i was like thinking why only land why not capture water <laughs> Like make water shapes like go under above what water so like and like, where are you from himanshu which city i'm i'm from chasi i'm currently in chasi and you're in noida currently yeah what are you doing in noida uh so thing like i did went to delhi had the coaching there and i this is aaple so like, like delhi to har koi jata hai noida jata hai no i went there okay. i did the coaching whole thing okay. then came back with this too too clustered in uh, like Too much pressure, so I came back. Noida, so it's relatively cool here. Okay. So the fav- favorite subject, like quality, is like too charming to leave behind for any other subject. You must know best of all. So yeah. Okay, good. I need to quickly wrap it up. Uh, the class. Uh, Sakshi, up to you. I think you started participating very late in the game. Ah uh, yes, sir. So. Yeah, earlier I was not uh, able to uh, attend live classes because of my job, but now I'm happy that uh, um, I have now been able to attend the classes uh, for the last few weeks. So yeah, I'm covering the recordings, and uh, yes, uh, uh, I my favorite subjects would be economics and uh, geography for now because uh, I am understanding these lessons. a lot more than what uh, understanding i had before and i really love the way how you teach because uh, whenever you introduce any concept uh, first of all you try to take the things that we all um, that we already know you want to take out the knowledge uh, whatever we have and then you adapt uh, accordingly and uh, then you start from the basic basics covering uh, taking into account that uh, there are some people who are reading it or who are studying it for the very first time so i really like that and uh, yes talking about my favorite subject i mean favorite class it would be that atmospheric circulation because i tried studying atmospheric circulation through some youtube videos in the past but uh, i was so frustrated because uh, i thought that how would i be able to learn so many things that uh, Uh, which direction is going in what direction but uh, when i uh, when i learned it from you and in in that class i was i still remember that i was so happy because i finally understood that and uh, i thought that this i can gr- draw this diagram on my own and once we draw that diagram everything comes into perspective so yeah that would be my favorite class and also about the western disturbances and uh, as somebody already told that uh, we were studying western disturbances at the time when it was actually happening in uh, northern regions so i think most of us would have been uh, like would have done this thing that explaining it to someone that see this is happening because of western disturbances we just studied that so i think uh, yeah that was also my favorite class yeah thank you so much sir all right thank you where are you from So I am uh, from Uttar Pradesh in Gorakhpur, but currently I'm in Noida. Okay, nice. I think uh, Naveen who will be coming on on Tuesday. I think he's been collector of Kothum Buddh Nagar and parts around that. So I think he'll talk about that region. Chand Majer, you have been translating. It's a bit short, but when we, uh, my favorite class was when you were teaching about Nubra Valley. and shop river because when you were teaching that class coincidentally i was traveling through that region and i was near siachen base camp and actually uh, after classes when i visited this shok river and nubra valley it actually amplified my experience of these regions and traveling throughout ladakh and these himalayas after learning geography it amplified and it really helped me internalize concepts and Uh, understand these regions and people there their uh, the society there the people and the atmosphere the then western disturb so last few days i was in kashmir in gulmarg so when the the gulmarg is uh, prominently based on tourism so when there was the, no snow i used to wonder why there was no snow then we always coincidentally learned about western disturbances and after few days 
it uh, in past few weeks it started to snow there so it was it has been the all geography lessons have been magical experience for me overall yeah oh thank you so much tenmaja shiva oh thank you namo uh, like whole my geography experience like i have never oh, i studied till then the class only geography after that i haven't read to the geography but uh, i have an interest towards national geographic channel so in a way i don't know the like a uh, reasons and causes of it but like a uh, most of the effects are relatable so but after going through the classes i am again going back to like a uh, what are the fundamentals was causing all these things like a uh, uh, i can re- strongly relate with the whole classes of like whole geomorphology we we are talking about like plate tectonics how they are impacting on multiple land forms and like a uh, how a uh, whole planet has worked there and then atmosphere comes to atmosphere it always about like pressure and coriolis force so every time i going back to any specific topic i am looking for like a fundamentals of it how maybe uh, plate tectonics coriolis force convection or else like a especially i made a notes of taking like a what are the fundamental theories making all these uh, atmospheric changes in the geography content uh, geography all in across basic fundamentals of it uh, then i started relating with the ancient history part like a uh, vedic culture gods uh, how they like uh, what we call is panchabhuta like a uh, yeah land it. water and like and uh, shiva where are you from which from madhya pradesh but which city yeah vishakhapatnam near me vishakhapatnam there are many from vishakhapatnam i think good uh, i think now i think the time is up uh, i'll just quickly check with som are you still there not sure hello 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 so we joined back yeah my phone you. my phone sorry sorry my phone was hanging am i visible and audible yes you are visible and audible just quickly okay okay so How first of all uh, i am doing very fine i don't know why you have stopped picking me up in the last 5 10 days uh okay uh, in very short time first of all i am in absolutely awe that how come you have completed geography without a pen and paper that was like out of my imagination and you have beautifully completed it indeed coming to my favorite subject uh, favorite uh, lectures i would say wherever i got to speak those were uh, quite favorite for me because i was able to listen back in the recorded classes and um, i have completed my graduation in political science but had i not taken political science indeed i would uh, have taken geography as the optional subject because that was quite interesting and easy for me because that was quite a logical that is quite a logical subject personally i believe that you have been asking many students that uh, if how was their experience personally i feel that a person who has understood geography syllabus of upsc how to know that is just one thing if you just can uh, watch that child if he goes out and analyzes each and every uh, situation in the environment and start thinking oh those are black clouds they must be cumulonimbus clouds oh the wind is coming from the south the it's and it's june these must be monsoon winds and that i find as the success of a teacher who who has taught geography and if you want to see your success go and check uh, if you get some time go and check uh, kirti's linkedin because uh, she had once posted uh, a pic of cloud and i s- had seen almost around 15 20 30 misfitters uh, playing around with uh, and guessing around with what kind of clouds they are and uh, giving logical conjectures so you will feel good about it you will feel uh, that you have got some success in te- not some you have got a very good amount of success in teaching uh, geography so and indeed i would uh, mention each and every one of you people's name who have uh, been sharing their views in this whole journey i feel like i am back to school meeting new friends every now and then and that's why 100% attendance every day in my efforts discussing so, clouds with your main exam for odisha my my mains is on 26th of this month and how is your progress uh, discuss- Uh, it's good it's good i have some, some more points uh, discussing clouds with kirti or western disturbances with nikhil i remember discussing deliberating with nikhil 
a night before uh, on western disturbances and then and on the next day he sends me videos of the real western disturbances that he faced in delhi i don't know one more girl is missing here if anyone remembers her or not neha the geography expert <laughs> uh her views were were quite interesting to listen to at the uh, outside of the geography classes these hero tuja sonendu quite good one more thing interesting about your lectures is that vox videos beautiful uh, video sources that you have uh, collected and that's a quite a good youtube channel thanks for that thanks for suggesting that and uh, linking geography with, with an international relations that was quite interesting for me because day before yesterday was the first time i got to know ki acha great leap forward can be linked to the geographical aspects also so just like hc verma writes in his first um, line that uh, mathematics is the language of physics similarly i can say that geography is the language of international relations ending my whole monologue with a simple line that i really feel that my day gets wasted if i do not get to speak at least once so <laughs> give me 30 seconds daily at least so to just answer once thank you so much okay thank you so much for your wonderful words i wish you all the very best and uh, i'm sure we have to climb great heights together okay so we'll wrap it up today and uh, it was wonderful to do this incredible journey with all of you you will have your uh, environment class starting in in a few minutes so all the best good luck